New tonight, the Mueller investigation will continue regardless of whether the government shuts down and looks like it's going to shut down. As Mr. Mueller reportedly prepares to submit his report to Acting Attorney General Matt Whitaker. Joining me right now with his thoughts on where it's all heading, presidential historian Doug Weed. Doug, you think uh, some Democrats are going to be disappointed? Um, do you think that the president is not going to get indicted and they're going to be, uh, you know, it's just going to ruin their year? <laughs> <laughs> 2019. Well, it could, but I'll tell you this: if if they are disappointed, they're not going to tell you and me or anybody else. They're going to they're going to try to play it straight and announce it as if it's uh, just uh, earth-shattering news. They do anyway. When mm -hmm. uh, Paul Manafort was indicted, the headline on one of the networks' opening uh, segment on one of the networks was uh, Mueller's Russian probe snares another one and he's going to be indicted even though it was Paul Manafort and the crimes he's accused of were committed 12 years before he ever met <laughs> Donald Trump Look, so I they'll mean, probably it, yeah. make a fuss <laughs> there's there's one MSNBC host that actually is saying that he doesn't know is that the president's uh, gonna return from Christmas break <laughs> he thinks that you know it's all gonna be over he's gonna just mysteriously retire um, it, you know look it, they don't like him and we've seen it uh, really manifest itself in a level that is so vocal and so out there I know that you've talked about it from a historical perspective and you've said look you know there's been a lot of members of the media uh, that haven't liked presidents before it's just that now Doug it's a little different right because the way that we all communicate with each other is different, whether it be via cable news like a show like this or Twitter or Facebook or anything else. Yeah, and it's dangerous, uh, Trish, in the green room before we came out of here, one of your other guests who's uh, uh, in the military, we were talking about the position that Trump's in because he's being vilified night after night. What if he had to take action with this Putin involvement with Venezuela or with North Korea? Uh, he, he, his hands are almost tied. If he took strong action, the media would go crazy and he needs to be free. The theory is that Mueller investigation was purposely stretched out so that it could impact the Democrat help the Democrats in the off-year election and now they're speeding it up to try to wrap it up quickly so the Democrats in the House can start their investigations and mm -hmm. maybe their impeachment but it's political obviously Clearly. it's very political well I mean it's so political and you know what just <laughs> devastates me and sickens me and disgusts me is that when you read through that transcript from James Comey when he was being questioned earlier this week. You know what it says, Doug, when they asked him, did you care who actually paid for the initial dossier that set off this entire chain of events? He said, no, I didn't care. I didn't care. You know what, Doug, that was the DNC and it was Hillary Clinton's campaign that hired the law firm that, that went out and hired Christopher Steele to put together all this smut. And he doesn't care? who the mm. source is that's actually paying for it. I mean, if that's not political, sir, what is? Yeah, it's sad, and it also is a bit disheartening to know that the Trump folks, perhaps quite a bit naive, turned over everything to cooperate with Mueller because they had nothing to hide. They gave him one million documents from the Trump campaign. Compare that to the 30,000 emails that Hillary destroyed. They gave him one million documents from their campaign. If a prosecutor can't find something in that, uh, he's got to quit his business and well, do not to mention, else. you think about how many hours, right? His lawyers mm. sat down. 70 hours. 70 hours. That would be an exhausting few weeks of your life. Yeah. Well, it's been an exhausting 19 <laughs> months of our lives, right? And look, what's incredible here is that we actually have gotten a fair amount done. Uh, this administration <laughs> has been successful on the policy front. And, I, you know, look, I... I, I'm impressed only in that <laughs> if it were me and they were coming after me like that and my entire orbit, I would think it would be hard to focus on anything else. So, uh, you know, <laughs> these special prosecutors, when they get a blank check to just go out there and dig and dig and dig and dig and suddenly they're way over here, not even close to the original crime that they were actually investigating, it can make things very distracting and uncomfortable, I would think, for a president.
I would think so, too. And I think he's done a great job. He's got a temperament that I don't have. I think I might break under that. But I notice even now they criticize bringing the 2,000 troops home from Syria. And these are the same people. When Donald Trump came into power, the Boko Haram uh, were allied with ISIS, and they controlled 35,000 square miles of territory. It was a nightmare what was going on. And uh, he, he eliminated it. He ruined it. They say there's still out there, and they are as a terrorist group, but they don't have any land. <laughs> no, that was important. You had to destroy the caliphate, and we succeeded in that. Uh, that was critical. But, you know, it, it, Doug, I just, I'm amazed that suddenly all these lefties are total <laughs> security hawks, right? Now, now they want all the troops in Syria. And, and by the way, they're also budget hawks. <laughs> <laughs> and they were experts. They were telling us you can't use the words Islamic terrorists. They were talking about downgrading. They were talking about appeasing. They brought Christians into the East Room to lecture them on the crimes they committed in the 6th century. Oh, <laughs> so gosh. that was their approach yeah. to ISIS. Donald Trump's approach was different. And mm -hmm. I, in this case, I trust Trump. You're very right, though, sir. It is political. All of it. Doug Weed, thank you so much. More Trish Regan Primetime next year.